What makes you woohoo? Is it the triumphant swoosh of a child's first basket? Maybe it's experiencing traditional dance at a cultural festival. Or how about the fresh air as you hike a trail across a local park? When you buy a lottery ticket, you help Saskatchewan Lotteries fund over 12,000 sport, culture and recreation groups. It makes life better, and that's something to cheer about. Visit sasklotteries.ca to find out more. Welcome to the Fringe Fest Flyer. My name is Luke Pennock, and I'm here with a hot take on the hottest acts coming through Saskatoon, Saskatchewan at the Fringe Festival. Now, I had a chance today to sit down with Alex Hartshorn of the Sisters Fox. Why don't we listen in? Hello, Alex. Hello. I understand Lauren can't be with us today. There's been a, a candle mishap. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Wax everywhere. Mamma mia. <laughs> So why don't, you, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the show here? Okay, well, our show is The Sisters Fox, and uh, Lauren had the idea from a podcast of this true story of these two women who, uh, back in the 1800s, the mid-1800s, uh, they started out as very young girls, and uh, they ended up building this empire based on communicating with the dead. Oh, cool. So they convinced people that they could uh, talk to their lost loved ones, and essentially it just kept blowing up and becoming bigger and bigger. And yeah, in a time when women couldn't really do anything like that, yeah, um, yeah they, they were essentially the founders of spiritualism. Wow. And so yeah. they were they... Uh... Not to be too blunt, but were they were they scamming or were they? Uh, what was their what, what what did they believe they were doing? Yeah, well, this is a fascinating part of what we're exploring with this story. Is we hope that a lot of our story straddles the line between can they or can't they? Right. So so uh, in a lot of the research that Lauren and I did, and also in the way that we've written the show. Um, we hope to have audience, and so far this has been the case, that there are audience members who believe right from the get-go and right. right the whole way through that they can do it, that they possess the skill and they've, I don't know, expanded on it and yeah, just went for the gold. And then there's other people who believe no they've got to be right. the most cunning like manipulative girls that that ever existed like geniuses really to pull off something like that like right. really it, it swept the whole nation this was in uh new york area in, okay in the 1800s, so like swept the nation no thing, so. no shortage of uh, ghosts hanging around new york i wouldn't have thought well <laughs> one would think yeah so so i mean lauren and i for our characters we have sort of what we individually believe mm -hmm. that they would have believed, these these true-to-life girls. Uh, so we have that for ourselves in our minds, but we, we want to leave it up to the audience for interpretation. You know, right. we kind of hope that it's it's spooky enough that, like, you know, when you hear those little, like, knocks and creaks yeah. in your house, you're like, oh, you know, <laughs> what, what's going on? You Ooh. know, or that you think a little bit more about, about what that could be, like, I still, I still wonder, like after reading the book, I went chapter by chapter and I thought like one chapter, I was like, oh yeah, they for sure can do it. Yeah. And then the next chapter I was like, oh, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. <laughs> How did they do this? It's amazing. So yeah. So we hope that there's a, that little bit of flip flop. That's great. Yeah. Mm. And so for the writing process, when you're, uh, I've never written collaboratively like that. Do you, do you tend to write your own character or do you sort of write out a scene as a whole? Yeah, this is this is interesting. Uh, Lauren is more the playwright in our team here. Uh, she has a lot of experience with writing, and and I write a little bit too. But you know, I don't know. She just has a way with words. So mm -hmm. what we would do is we would we would when we're thinking about a scene, we're thinking about what convention, what style we wanted to use. Uh, sometimes we'd come at it from a couple of different angles. So we'd start writing something, you know, Lauren would write a few words, I'd write a few words, or we'd each write a scene on our own and then mash them together. Or, um, you know, I would start moving, I would put on some music and start like making a little dance piece right? instead of writing something. And, you know, so then we would just, we had enough material that we could just pick and choose, you know, what we wanted to do for that scene or we went one way instead of the other. Right. That kind of thing. So that's, that's how we worked in this process. Would you ever, would you ever think about expanding this into a longer 
into a longer thing, or uh, are you just now focused on just getting through the fringe and getting it uh, <laughs> getting it finished? Yeah, I mean, it really has been uh, um, a whirlwind, kind of getting everything ready for the fringe, especially because we're producing everything too. So right. you know, all that stuff that comes with with not just the art side of it, yeah. but everything else. So. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a, a kerfuffle, but a good one. Yeah, of um, course. But yeah, I think I think in the future it would be this is the kind of thing that we would be looking to expand. Yeah. And we'll see where it goes. For I mean, sure. for now our plan is to just shelf it for a while. Yeah. And, you know, sit on it, uh, ruminate over how things have gone here. This is sort of our we see this as sort of like a first stepping stone. Right. So just, yeah, seeing how it goes over and uh, what might be the next step. So there's a million different options, and uh, we definitely do want to go somewhere with it in the future. We just don't know what that's going to be yet. Very cool. So, yeah. And have you worked with Lauren in the past on uh, on things, or is this your first time collaboration? Yeah, Lauren and I went to university together. Uh, we were not in the same year, but we did do a few university shows together. And then we did, after I convocated, we did the conservative program at Globe Theater in Regina. Oh, okay, sure. So we were, that's a four-month intensive program, so we got to know each other a lot better there. Uh, we were in Pride and Prejudice together at the Globe. Um, and then Thigh High Theater, which is Lauren's company, um, collaborated with some spoken word poets in the city, and they wrote a script for us, and Lauren brought on myself and two other gals to do a show called Our Four Walls. And that was the script written by the poets, and I choreographed and performed in, and it was sort of a, a multidisciplinary collective type thing. Cool. So yeah, so and Lauren directed. So so we worked. We have worked together in those capacities before, but never quite like this. Yeah. No kidding. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what 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 brought you two together to decide to to get this thing done? Uh, well, I was on the wait list for Fringe, actually, and then uh, Donovan Shearer and Andrew Taylor, who are with Two Unruly Gentlemen, right. you've just done a show with them, that's right. Southern Dandy, or is that, wait a sec, this is uh, That was Auto Helmet. Yeah, that's Andrew's yeah. company. Okay, so anyway, Andrew and Donovan have Two Unruly Gentlemen, and so they had a slot, and they really wanted to do something, but they, they Donovan was busy with some other contracts, and... And anyway, he saw that I was on the wait list and he said, do you want to team up and do something? And I said, yep. And so then I was kind of putting some feelers out because I didn't want to do a show fully on my own. Right. But I knew I wanted to do something exciting. So I approached Lauren and knew she was around for the summer. And yeah, we just started throwing some ideas around. And then it was kind of getting down to, to the crunch time. Like we kind of had to decide if we were going to dedicate our summer to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like back in March. So... You know, we met for a few coffees and we're like, did we do this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> so that's how, that's how it happened. We just, we just went, went for it, dove right in. And actually Lauren has a few scripts that she's already written. Mm -hmm. So she has like, she has four that's like up on her website, ready to go. There's this one that is pretty much ready to go as a draft and it was a one person show. And, you know, we kind of thinking we were going to do that and, you know, I would perform in it and she would direct and it was a great show for the fringe because it was minimal set and minimal tech and all that stuff. So yeah. it would have been really great. Uh, and then we were like, nah, <laughs> that's the easy road. Yeah. Why would we do that? <laughs> so. Let's make it really hard on ourselves. <laughs> exactly. Like there's no other way. <laughs> So that's what we did, and uh, we had a great time. Like the whole the whole devising process of this whole thing was was really really great, and it was awesome to come into a room, you know, with my own ideas, and Lauren had her own ideas, and we just like ricocheted them off each other, and you know, we have a lot of the same training, but in in a lot of respects, we have um, such a varied skill set among right. the two of us. So that was really cool to come together and you know, be able to bring our own tools into the mix and work together in that way. So cool. Well, yeah. I look forward to uh, look forward to checking it out. Yeah, so far so good. You know, we've had three shows and we have four more left. And uh, yeah, like the response has been really good so far. People have been sufficiently creeped out. Hey, uh, <laughs> I love being creeped out. So. Yeah, <laughs> making them think. So yeah. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you very much, Alex. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Ooh.
Wasn't that delightful, folks? Indeed it was. Let me answer that for you. Now you can check out The Sisters Fox. Today, I'm talking Monday, August 7th at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, August 9th at 5.45 p.m. Friday at 5.45 or Saturday at 7.30. Where? Only the Broadway theater, folks. The place with popcorn and pop. That's all from me, Luke Pennock, for the Fringe Fest Flyer. Back to you. What makes you woohoo? Is it the triumphant swoosh of a child's first basket? Maybe it's experiencing traditional dance at a cultural festival. Or how about the fresh air as you hike a trail across a local park? When you buy a lottery ticket, you help Saskatchewan Lotteries fund over 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups. It makes life better, and that's something to cheer about. Visit sasklotteries.ca to find out more.